I've made a little story part here. So I'm aware that my I'm aware that my handwriting is classified as a cruel and unusual form of punishment, so I apologize in advance. But who would like to go first? Okay. Group three. So you can just taste this. Yeah. <laughs> we already kind of go here. So, Nina, so, talk to us. Here you go. Talk to us. Here you go. So, we went um, one by one first through the topic of the quality of the statement and then through the quality of the medium and um, tried to mark it in, in red and blue what actually works and what doesn't work with a PDF scan of whatever kind of certificate. And um, what we found out regarding the distinction, uh, the distinct element of the quality is that it really depends. So if you look at a scan document of only the certificate, this one pager that um, says, okay, you have completed um, that course, that course, and that course, and that um, is added up um, to, to a MicroMaster, um, it is not sufficient. So it does need some um, complete information. Um, in regarding the medium, it um, additionally needs metadata, and that simply is not the case for a scanned uh, document. So that, that definitely is an issue. Regarding the um, authenticity, um, we'd say the verification of such a statement of its not of the scan itself, but of the certificate behind it, um, should be quite clear, but it's not that easy to revoke. Um, so, so that definitely is not, um, is, is a better solution if you, do, if you use a different medium. Um, and we also said, I think none of us did ever Photoshop a certificate. But Timothy was talking a lot about it, so I'm not sure about it. I never said I didn't falsify anything. In theory, it's quite easy to fake. So I mean, if it's a scanned PDF, or it's, it's basically an image behind it, it is very, it is potentially easy to fake, and all of us have heard of such cases before. So again, the medium doesn't really serve, um, serve that need, um, and it could, we believe, be better so, uh, solved uh, with other media. Um, we do believe, though, that it is very accessible um, because the kind of certificates that we had in our minds are really nice in a nice format. They are well understood <coughs> with basic information uh, by a broad audience, and it's just, you know, it's just broadly used. Everyone knows what, what a certificate is, and if it is simple enough, it is, um, it is very accessible. Again, depending on the information that is attributed um, to the certificate. So if you have one pager, it is very accessible. If you have 30 pages behind it that explain all the uh, elements of the, of the certificate, it becomes more and more difficult um, to understand. Um, and we, regarding the medium, we wrote, we love paper certificates. Uh, we, had, we had a case from a colleague who had just left, is that they issued open batches to students and then they asked, can we also have a printed certificate for it? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, that's really, it's just the reality that for the audience, um, or for, for target group, for learners, for many of us in this room, of course it's nice to have an endorsement on LinkedIn, but it's also nice to just have you know, a nice paper-based certificate that you can print out and that you can easily share. Um, so that is just the reality that we, meet, uh, we believe. Um, um, like exchangeable, pardon? You like the smell of the Oh, I really <laughs> like the smell of the cheese. Um, PDF scans are not really exchangeable in the, in the kind of exchangeability that, that we defined here for the quality criteria. It is not easily convertible, but it is not really modular. I mean, you can put one certificate next to the other certificate, but that is not the kind of modularity uh, that, that we would believe in. Um, what we did, though, talk about what is quite interesting is, through recognition, it 
can be exchangeable. So if you submit a certificate for formal recognition or for recognition within, within a, the labor market, it can actually, through the process of recognition, become exchangeable. And it is, we had that before, it is the core foundation of trust, such an easily understandable certificate. So that, um, that was the positive side of the exchangeability of such a medium. That's like money laundering. That's how it happens. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, exactly. You don't know where it comes from, and in the end it was just a Photoshop certificate, but through recognition, <laughs> no one can trace it back anymore. <laughs> That's why we need to develop other standards as well. Last one, portability. Um, it is, and that is like really, I think, just a really positive aspect of a scanned PDF document. It is owned by the learner. The learner does have a scan on the computer. I can have a scan in my, in my phone, but I can also have a nice piece of paper on my wall. I can take it into the, I don't know, somewhere into the Sahara and still have the certificate with me, although I don't have electricity anymore, because it is digitally and physically um, portable. And we believe that still remains a really, um, a really important aspect of any medium, and that is a challenging case when you look at all the digital <laughs> solutions that are alternatives to it. Thank you. Questions? What do we do now? Uh, can I check over here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for comments. Yeah, comments. Yeah. Um, uh, for the medium, yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the, um, the time over which the medium has to be available. It's very important for legal reasons. Yeah. Uh, if I am an issuer as university, for example, yeah, uh, making an issue for a certification, yeah, macro or my, micro, yeah, then uh, I, for, for me as a student, I can lose the certification uh, paper, yeah, and then for uh, applying for a job or what, yeah, then I have to prove, or I can be asked for, for proving a certain yeah. certification, yeah, and then if I lost it, then uh, the issuer is responsible in front of the law for uh, being able to uh, yeah. uh, making the certification uh, proof again. So, so if I have a proof like this printed, perhaps this is much, much more durable than perhaps the open batch system. No, I have nothing against the sure? open batch here, but so. I'm not sure. I wouldn't uh, agree on that because I work with refugees. Um, and that's a very simple case that also Alex Frank and you guys are always repeating is I worked with refugees who came to Germany like since 2015 yeah. trying to access higher education. And their problem was, of course, legally Syrian universities would or wherever they come from, the universities from war-torn countries would have been legally responsible for storing the, the information, for storing the certificate, but they simply didn't because of unforeseen circumstances, so to say. And for them, it would have been much easier to have it all digitally. So the traditional certificate that has to be stored also, um, also within a certain institution alone is definitely not sufficient. What is the no, good no, no, part? No, I didn't say you... this, yeah. I didn't say this, yeah. Ah, OK. Yes, I say you can have okay something uh, on digital uh, storage, yeah. But then yeah. you have to be sure that this certification proof is available for um, a very long time. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, all I will say is uh, uh, we, in our framework, we think of this as part of verifiability. So you need yeah. to be able to verify the, uh, let me read it exactly now, the verify when, where, and by whom it was issued, which means there's an original record of that transaction and the certificate should be the issuable in the paper versus digital, I actually agree with you. Uh, digital is not a solution to all things. And the reason paper is so common still with this is because paper is a really, really good technology for its purpose. And honestly, most of the digital technology, including open badges, hasn't solved, hasn't created a big enough uh, advantage over paper to move it. Um, there are people who argue, including some other reports I wrote, that blockchain is a solution or not. But part of the reason we wrote this is we realized that everybody's going and talking about that this is the new technology that will revolutionize credentials. And nobody had even agreed a set of principles 
that qualifies as a revolution. So we, to some extent, this is a process of going back to basics and saying, okay, now if you can build a digital thing that will do all that, then digital will be clearly superior. Uh, if it's there yet, I would actually agree with you, I'm not 100% sure it is. There's five or six technologies, which I think have a lot of potential, but all of them are, you know, in early beta phase, and maybe something like this helps as a guide you know, to the way. But we're also here to hear from you, so who would like to go next? Yeah. Please. Okay. So, so uh, I do not remember any more about the exact uh, uh, libelé of the uh, question. So you yeah. had a MOOC certificate offered by the Red Cross and issued as an open badge. Yeah. Thank you. So, so, um, so um, then we figured out that uh, in a way with this description, yeah, precision. Then somebody uh, who had uh, followed the, and made all the um, um, activities in the MOOC yeah, could receive something like this. And this is quite empty. Okay, this is the Blue Cross. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> okay. So you figure out it's in red, yeah, and, okay. and, um, and so even if there is the date, and, but this is only written MOOC certificate. So uh, our group say um, this is not um, enough for the value, yeah. So of the, the quality of the statement, yeah. Um, this is more or less empty, yeah. Okay. So um, so so then we we we, we say the okay um, uh, more about we we have to to have more about the perhaps uh, yeah. perhaps. Um, uh, we have to, to have uh, more about the MOOCs, uh, especially about the first um, line, uh, row, so distinct, yeah? So we have something, we have to have something more specific, more identifiable, identifiable, to say identifiable, <laughs> and measurable, yeah? Uh, skills, facts, experience, and so on, okay? And, and linked to this, also, uh, uh, quite sure, also, um, to make it authentic, then uh, quite sure, also, um, the, the biggest point we, we um, focused on was about the traces that were collected uh, for making the, um, the, the distinction authentic. Perspective, then uh, okay, uh, we take what we know about uh, the open batch system, and we have uh, pro and uh, um, negative points. Uh, with the um, um, positive points, we see really the portable portability as uh, effective, and also the accessibility. As far as we know, uh, a badge with the open badge system is not uh, uh, editable, in fact, by the owner. Yeah. So, if the issuer is doing well his work, uh, the badge is uh, um, is solid. Yeah, so solid. Authentic. Authentic. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Yeah. But um, for the negative points, then. Uh, we are doubtful about uh, the uh, verification of the issuer. As far as we know, in Open Batch, I can be an issuer for a basketball. Huh? Um, please do not take my uh, badge for basket. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <coughs> this is. What Thank we you. Questions to our <coughs> Blue Cross group. <laughs> No, more than questions. I, I think it's a it's a comment, it's a, perhaps a perspective of, of users. I mean, we're all used to using an online service, whatever it is. We go there, we click, we use it day after day, week after week. On one day, we go there, and it's not there anymore because the company bust or they changed their their product cycle or whatever. So there's this slight anxiety with the, an online badge or something. Would this happen to me? Because if I have my certificate, I put it in a folder, I put it on the shelf, it's always going to be there. That's my house burns down. Mm -hmm. And there's that. that 
worry that maybe at some stage, even if it's not directly revoked, it could disappear. Mm -hmm. I mean, open badges themselves are essentially image files within the yeah, mm -hmm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. theoretically, you could download yeah. them. Um, but my personal problem with all the badges is their image is still embedded in metadata. Um, I know plenty of people who can't even tell you how to measure width by height pixels, let alone access embedded metadata on a downloaded image. So uh, uh, it needs special software, basically, if you want to make it usable. But, so, but it is portable. I mean, you can put it on a USB stick and cross the world with it. You can sail across the world with it, and I mean, with it in your pocket. So I mean, uh, for me, but this is a very personal opinion, it scores high on portability, but a little less so, and then accessibility independence, it loses accessibility in that sense. But I, I think we have to have a historical perspective, though, because I think that we're in a time of great change, and what happens now is that we use a lot of paper and we use a lot of digital too. Yeah. And I think in 20 years' time, uh, the, the, the biggest uh, place you see this in, is in legal context, where if you go to the bank, everything is digital, and then you have to print it all. And, and so we live between two realities. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, and they even print out papers telling you, please do not print this to be yeah. sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean, you are right as a perspective. I actually, uh, just because I wanted to try it, I became a new resident of Estonia a couple of weeks ago, because I wanted to try their digital nation. And um, I mean, it is impressive. You can sign up for e-citizenship completely digitally. Uh, you're verified digitally. Uh, you would have to go to their office once to pick up the digital key, and with that you can open up a bank account, start a company, register your taxes, and not one piece of paper is ever used anywhere for anything. Uh, they've actually really built it. Um, and I mean, that is the direction we're going, and what I will say about open badges, I mean, if you look at the design of open badges, I mean, considering, what was it, 10 or 15 years ago now, uh, open badges is by far the most significant effort in the form of digital credentials that has been created yet. Uh, when I look at this, I argue that maybe it is a definitive effort, but it is definitely the best anybody has had so far. But our traditional university group, my god, you're a big, powerful group. Why me? Um, <laughs> it's yours. Why not? Is it mine? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is mine? <laughs> You speak, Why not? You speak and I'll tell you. I don't yeah. anything else. <laughs> <laughs> He's a secretary. He knows no. much better. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to point out uh, the fact that we didn't have any of the from the organization with yeah. us, so we are not that colorful. No, you see, because <laughs> someone left this on the table and we didn't know what was this for. <laughs> so we have the secretary all all fashion way. <laughs> so. Uh, well, um, we did have a very nice discussion about this. The first one is like uh, our um, um, classical way to show our degrees, university degrees. It's not exactly portable because they are normally big papers, so it's not easy. But then, if you have to send them out, uh, you scan them. Uh, so, what's the validity and the trust behind this? And the universities are accepting this just to do, accept you as a master student or whatever, no? Mm -hmm. So it is portable and it's, it's not portable and it's not trustable. <laughs> uh, we have talked uh, also about uh, it's not accessible either. Uh, and so the solution for this, I want to go pros, cons, and you know, so enhancements. Yeah. Um, uh, we were talking about creating a digital signature uh, from the institutions which will be owned by the institution, by the learner, and <coughs> the uh, maybe a common repository in the European Union or what we want. So we do have the certificate ourselves. The institution has the certificate uh, themselves, but also it is somewhere else. Uh, so employers, for instance, can access this and uh, say, prove that this uh, employee really has the, the certificate, okay? Um, it's not exchangeable uh, in a very classical manner. Oh, obviously you can send uh, a postcard, <laughs> you know, using the, the very old-fashioned way, but as you only have this copy, which is very expensive, at least here in Spain, you have to pay around 200 euros when you get your certificate. 
uh, you are not going to send this the original one, so it's not exchangeable. So the digital format will be the option. This um, digital with this digital signature, um, proving that it is really spent by the institution. Um, it is authentic. It is true. This is one hundred percent. If it is the original one, and you don't are part of the mafia, for instance, <laughs> so you have someone that is going to create very nice copies. Um, I also highlighted the situation with Dauphin Spain. I don't know if you know about Juan Carlos I, this university with politicians. It has been very. If you live in Spain, I will no, tell you. No, no. Many politicians has gotten um, a PhD or master's degrees or something like that, uh, taking an amount of money, and it's not true. They didn't really did the master's nor the PhD. Okay, so authentic. Uh, 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 okay, okay, yeah, the certificate is authentic. What is behind? Mm, we don't really know. On the other hand, though, the system obviously allowed for it to be detected since you now know about it. Exactly. So even though it was originally faked, when somebody tried to verify it, then it just survived the everything. process. So it was verifiable, yes, and it turned out not to be true. Exactly. So it is authentic. If, uh, if exactly, I'm very Verifiable, but easy to fake. Exactly, plus, so it depends on the interest of, of the, you know, the third party. Uh, maybe it's not that uh, trustable in this way either. You the third party is just going to yeah. trust you. Arguably, until that person became in the public eye, became a politician, no one, no one was concerned whether it was true or not. Yeah. It became famous, <laughs> so they started to, to look into his history. And this is kind of the well, we had a, we had an interesting kind of philosophy discussion about this. So we thought that in general the certificates are very good, although they have